Good morning ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another day of the video diary and how's it going today? Today is my last day here in Nottingham. Tomorrow we're heading off to Bath for term time at uni uh, university. So today's my last day and today is a hectic day as well. I literally uploaded uploaded yesterday's video last night because I won't have time to do it today. Um, because I'm now currently heading towards Mr. Shawnee Boy. We're going to go play some snooker. I'm going to tell him that I'm. we might be probably vastly, probably moving house within like a month. Um, and he's going to break his little heart, bless him. Um, but yeah, so otherwise we're going to go play some, a couple of games of snooker. What about we were going to cycle, but then by the time you've got there, messed about with bike locks, it only takes you about 20 minutes to walk. It'll take you five minutes to cycle, but it takes you forever to like lock the bikes up. You may as well not faff. But then the main reason I like changed my mind and said like, hey, why don't we walk? Is then we'd go in like cycling clothes, like shorts and stuff. And I'm not sure, but, well, I'm in bright green jeans and odd shoes to be fair. But it's a little bit more like dressed for the occasion in like a snooker place, which is like semi, semi, like relatively posh, I guess. I don't know. They might like look down on us if we go in with like shorts on and stuff like that. So yeah, I'm going to go Mr. Mead, Mr. Shawnee Boy, one okay? And then as soon as we've got to leave by like quarter to one, because I need to get back to dad so that we can go and look at an apartment. Um, and then I'll show you around and stuff. I should have put a belt on really. Damn it, these jeans are too big. I've also decided I don't like bright jeans anymore. I'm just going to go, because I'm changing my style so I wear more like polo shirts and like bright coloured t-shirts and stuff. And then they don't go with bright coloured jeans. So I need to get some more like grey slash black ones slash dark blue or something this guy is like what the fuck are you doing do i care nope <laughs> you are not gonna see me for at least um till christmas <laughs> unless for some freak freak like thing you come down to bath or i come up for a weekend which i doubt but yeah well i could come up if i have like a like an interview at my placement place, which is hopefully in the Nottingham's, um, because that would be perfect. But uh, less about that, Mr. Shawnee Boy's coming towards me and is fetching Red Hoodie again. What a boy! I'm gonna send this right to thank you. I'm not sure why you can't just like put it on your finger. Chaff. <laughs> that was kind of ironic him potting that because that's the highest value ball you've potted. <laughs> you've only potted reds up until now. <laughs> We're so sophisticated here on this table, just swearing at the ball all the time. It's really blurry, it's not auto focusing in this light. No, <laughs> it's getting ridiculous now. You're not even going to be able to do anything with it. <laughs> That's like wider than that. Just, just smack it. <laughs> Check the angle. Oh, I've got to size, got to size the fucking cubes. <laughs> You can do it, Sean. <laughs> You're quite far away. <laughs> uh, oh. <laughs> get, it, get it out of the way quick. <laughs> it's literally ridiculous. You, throughout the entire game, you potted nothing better than a red. <laughs> and then at the very end, you just chain together blue, pink, and black and win. <laughs> God bloody damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Rack them up, Bell End. Oh, Jesus Christ. We're playing another one. Yeah, we're playing another one? Yeah. Yeah, how much if you want to? What time is it? It's half past eleven. So we've only been here about an hour. We've been here an hour. It's taken us an hour, but <laughs> okay. Jesus. God, do you, want to, do you know how to set it up, Sean? Yeah, you put all the reds in the square. <laughs> <laughs> Shall I do the colours? Uh, blue in the middle. Oh, man. Action shot. Look at that. Look at that for a break. How pathetic. <laughs> Did you hear the <laughs> Jesus. You're quite far away. Yeah, sure. 
Bit of oh. <laughs> My, uh, I didn't really keep up with that. <laughs> No, 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 no. Um, I think you can you can take it again if you want. I don't mind. So you got <coughs> before you had a hissy fit. You had about seventy-two before players. Eighty-eight. I had yeah until you had a hissy fit. God damn it. Do you want to play the second game then? Where the hell did this heat come from? Damn it! It's fucking in September. I thought we'd lost fucking Jesus summer. I've got fucking trousers on, damn it. It's really hot. And I'm wearing a black t-shirt as well, damn it. It's so bloody warm. Um, just heading back now to say goodbye to Johnny Boy. We walk back with a um, milkshake. Ah, oh, it's a whale of a time. I really enjoyed snooker. Um, he won the first game. I won the second game. So, um, that's it. We're heading back now and we're going to go and look around our apartment thing that we're looking at getting. So, it's exciting. Uh, we're going for two. So, we've got to sit around for a little bit, but otherwise, we'll spare 45 minutes in a day. Like, the temperature right now is beyond a joke. I'm going to put some shorts on or something. Fuck. Okay. <sighs> I thought you would. Yeah. I mean, why? Well, what about the stuff? Just need to. <laughs> no. Okay then, status report. We're not having that one. Um, it's far too small. Dad liked. Ah, uh, Dad liked it. He likes the area and everything about it, and he thought it was big and it's all right. And it is, except for the fact that Atlas on my desk, or any form of desk that would fit Atlas, wouldn't fit into that room. The second bedroom, advertised as a double, is not a double. The one I showed you literally before this one, I think, is no way near a double. Like, at a stretch, you could fit a double bed in, but then you'd open it, and then it would hit the friggin' bed on the way out. So, um, we kind of like, I felt really bad for saying that like it's not going to be good enough. It's not big enough for me because it's his. It's his place. It's going to be his house for the majority of the year, but seven months worth, I guess. But then next year, I could potentially be living in Nottingham anyway. Anyway, um, so yeah. And over, over summer, I'm there for four months. But we are. We came back anyway from that, and then sorted out like stuff. And then we was like, right, honestly, do you like it or not? I'm like, no, we don't like it. He's like, that's cool. We get one, because basically, if it's about the same size as my bathroom, where there was not my bath house room, my flat from last year, then I'm more than happy with that. I can live with that kind of size, no problem. I'd need to get a different shaped desk, but that kind of size room is perfect, the size my bathroom was. That's as small as you could possibly go. If you obviously like chopped off the ensuite, and then that bit, the living bit, is as small as you could go, really, with my size computer and like stuff like that, or something smaller than that, but with a separate place to put my computer that isn't the living room, um, like a little office space, or anywhere up between thingy. But then we were going to come back and have a look at like different like houses and stuff instead, like a house, to get the proper sized thingy bedrooms. But then we found out there's another one in the same block, like with the same like windows and stonework and stuff like that, and brickwork, um, that there's the same one, but then one of the bedrooms is on the top floor. Like it's kind of split into two. And instead of having such high ceilings, it's kind of just split in the middle. And um, there's like a spiral staircase up to a bedroom. that's kind of like, a, is it a maisonette? Where there's like, it's a bit like a balcony over the living room, um, which would be mine. It would be basically like not there. It's the biggest, it's a lot bigger than any other bedroom, like a lot bigger than my current bedroom now and stuff like that. And it'd be good to like split in half, have my desk in one bit and my bed in another bit. There obviously is the inconvenience of sleeping above a living room, but then how much, it's not really an inconvenience with the hours I sleep um, and stuff like that. It's very rare, maybe like potentially when like Lovely's over, but then Lovely doesn't come over when 
um, dads around anyway because he comes we only get lovely to stay over when he's on days so that we can have the morning together so we can just like lounge around in dressing gowns and stuff so yeah I'd be happy with the new one but not with the old one I felt really bad for saying that I wouldn't be happy with the other one because he kind of set his heart on it and then I explained why it wouldn't be very good <laughs> I fucking love how like strange looks I get when I'm doing this that was incredible that one anyone would think like you're a jellyfish or something they're just walking around like blah, blah, blah. <laughs> brilliant um otherwise though we went to go pick up our van to pack to bath <laughs> to head down to bath with but um which we were going to hire it for two days in which case we pick it up at like four bring it up two days later but then dad's at work so we can't take it back so what we're doing is um only getting it for one day so we actually went there but it's done by 24 hours not by the hour so um we actually got there found out we'd save 50 quid if we just came like three hours later we're going to pick up the van at six um it's about half four now i'm going to pick up the van as close to six as possible and then bring it back at six the next day so that's the plan there and then otherwise i just went to lovelies to like well not necessarily help her pack and stuff but tell her everything that's happened with the house and with the flat uh, apartment thing and stuff like that um and yeah Basically, Dad's going to look around this other one Friday, and to be fair, it does look a lot bigger. If it's the exact same for his bedroom, my bedroom's fine, the bathroom's fine, the kitchen living area's fine, everything's everything's fine, everything's dandy. It is. Like I say, the only thing that was wrong with there was like that tiny little room. You couldn't have that flat as like Dad and thinking. You could do it like if me and Lovely had it, you'd then have the other room as an office alone. It's not a bedroom size. It's bullshit. You shouldn't be able to advertise as a double bedroom if literally you can only put a double bed in and frick all else. It's ridiculous. But yeah, so that's what he's gonna do Friday. Otherwise, I'm gonna go back now. I'm gonna go unplug Atlas. No! <laughs> I'm gonna go unplug Atlas, take down my desk, move it all downstairs so it's ready to put into the van. We're then gonna go pick up the van, whack it all in, have pizza for dinner tonight, and then go to the pub because I'm not hanging around in that house uh, without Atlas or an Xbox to play. So, yeah, we're going to the pub. Boop, uh, that's about eight-ish. Maybe Lovely will even come and like, poke her head in for a little bit, maybe. I don't know, but otherwise it'd be just me, Mike and James, because Sean's at work. No. Um, but yeah, otherwise, that's about all, really. Our little lives. Let's go do some packing. <laughs> It's the best thing about vlogging, just watching cars, specifically cars, go past and be like, the hell that guy was in the back seat, like turning around in his back seat to look at me. Oh, is it that weird? It's because my arms are so long, I bet you. So yeah, that's about all really. But otherwise, the location of the apartment, the block it's in, is all like really nice. It was just the, the size of it. So the other one should be really good, I think, especially if like that top floor will basically just be mine for when I'm around as well. The problem is, while I'm only there for like three months, um, over summer I might be living there for a year so I can't just kind of do we're just gonna be like oh yeah we'll just kind of whack it in make do and manage kind of thing but you can't make do and manage for an entire year you can for three weeks but yeah so I just kind of feel bad for anyway Jesus look how big this bloody room is when that's not in there I screwed that myself Pro. I guess keyboards next keyboard lamp I need that extension cable might do anyway um, so take it basically, it's no use to anyone else. So I need to get the cable, extension cable out, move all this lot downstairs and into the van. Dad's gone to go pick it up now. Um, bloody jamming, man. Jamming. Boop. I'm gonna tell you now, I am bloody knackered. Jesus. Basically just unpacked the entire room by its, on its own. Um, by myself even. Got everything out, boxed everything up. Moved all the boxes downstairs, waited Dad to bring back with the van, moved all of them into the van. Like Dad's carrying like Hartwell, about like a quarter of them, I'm taking the rest, packing them all in. Oh, I haven't like sat down today, my legs are knackered. I'm gonna sleep hard tonight, it's gonna be hard waking up really early in the morning. But I've got nothing at home now, I've just got a TV and a frosty, frosty uh, uh, like living room because everyone's in there and it's super awkward and I don't know how we're going to survive. 
the beep, the van ride going down with all three of our happy faces like Arr! someone's gonna stab someone in the neck I don't know who but damn it right because that's basically what's going on at home they're all watching crappy TV I don't have an Xbox I don't have Atlas I got my laptop granted but um, otherwise yeah I'm going to the pub I think Mike and James are there but <laughs> I don't know they're not texting they're not replying to my text messages which makes me think they are there but I'm gonna go down and look um, Lovely's on a birthday meal. I texted to see if she wants to come, but I'm not sure actually. Um, but yeah, bloody hell, hey. Bloody knackered. My legs are killing. We just had a pizza for dinner and stuff. Um, it's just one long day. Oh, look, a little fire going on there. Look, little bonfire. White smoke, so it's controlled there. So yeah, job done. Fully packed. The last time, it's my last night in that house craziness it's my last night in that house ever and my room's empty <laughs> and god i can smell that bonfire um room's empty it's mad it's crazy i can't it's so weird to look at and stuff an empty room knowing that i'm not going to come back to it basically the vast majority of everything i own is coming with me anyway because now i have more room for it and i use it more down in bath so yeah it's all packed Oh, no, it's not a frog, it's grass. I thought it was a frog then. <laughs> Damn it. Uh, but yeah, everything's done. So it's all good. And it looks like a lot. This bugs me. People are like, oh, you've got so much in there. Looks like a lot. But then the suitcase is basically a wardrobe. And for me, it's half a wardrobe as well, because I don't have a lot of clothes. Suitcase is about half a wardrobe. Um, all the boxes are big boxes to protect the things inside it. You could easily pack that down if you really wanted to, if you weren't as bothered about like covering everything in polystyrene to keep it nice and protected. So yeah, <laughs> it's just something that bugs me. Like we bumped into Amy from Cross Road. She's like, God, you got a lot there. How's it gonna fit? It's easily gonna fit. My room's bigger than it is now. So <laughs> it's gonna fit in even better. And the rest of it's like for the house as well. It's not just for my room, damn it. So yeah, let's see if these guys are actually in here. Or oh, I've just like walked down for no reason. No, please be here. Oh, hello. I'm freaking knackered. Today has been the longest ass day ever. Jesus Christ. Just haven't stopped, literally. Um, right, heading back for my last sleep in that house ever. That was really good fun. It was with um, Mike and Jamesy. We were just talking about shit. <laughs> talking about like literally like university, like you name it. Just talking about it. And then we were talking about. Um, drop a text whenever we want to play xbox or whatever and then get when we come back literally like as soon as i get back in nottingham we need to go snooker uh just literally when we obviously come back for christmas so there is that nice and free oh i've got hiccups and shit um yeah oh, bloody camera you seem to be taking longer and longer to record you you lazy little camera thing i have to reformat the memory card or something did i pop it in another camera at some point i put it in the computer that might slow it down um but yeah, uh, I was talking about that kind of stuff. So yeah, when we come back, because James is going on holiday, it's the, the 20th, and I'll come back like some stupid, like the 17th or something. So we need to go snooker when we go back, which is going to be awesome because they're free then. I didn't think they'd want to go snooker, to be honest, this morning, but then I know they're busy, like James is always busy. Mike's never busy. Oh, but yeah, so we'll be doing that. Otherwise, though, today has been ridiculously stressful. And stuff with the house and then the van and the packing moving stuff around my legs feel like freaking so heavy so i'm gonna sleep like a rock uh tonight getting up at half past five quarter past five to have a shower get dressed breakfast hit the road um in van so yeah it's gonna be fun it's gonna be fun 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 that's literally what tomorrow is otherwise we have to find out based on we just have to trust dad's judgment on the next flat but the one that, that is there looks good. So the apartment that's there looks really good. The one that we're, he's gonna go look at. It's exactly like the one we just saw, but with a much bigger bedroom for me. And because it's like a balcony over the thing, which he wouldn't be able to have because he has like nights and stuff. He's, when he's on night, he'll be asleep during the day and stuff like that. So <sighs> happy days. University tomorrow, back to the grind really miss lovely already <laughs> she's like just down the fucking road <sighs> she didn't come because she'd like put pajamas on and stuff and she said she didn't want to say goodbye again <laughs> no i wouldn't say goodbye <laughs> uh so yeah i really miss her 
not even fucking gone yet. Why do you have a low battery, you little shit? Uh, okay, right, I'm gonna have to stop vlogging. I'll do you a little pan of my house because it's the last time you're gonna see it. Um, but otherwise, otherwise. And last time in here. I'll catch you later.